welcome to a review of a Renault Megane, this being a 2005 55 plate. This is a 1.6 automatic and this is the saloon version. Obviously this came in a hatchback, the hatchback being the most popular in the UK and the saloon being most popular in Europe and with uh, rental companies. This one is the special edition Oasis, but obviously not special enough that it still has hubcaps and not alloy wheels. As you can see, looks lovely, I think. Nice square geometric shapes. So the front looks nice, the side looks nice. And then in this saloon format, the rear I just think personally, oh, doesn't work for me. Just does not work for me at all. Why on earth? What happened here? Did the uh, designer for the front have a tea break while the uh, rear was done by the apprentice or something? Good goodness gracious me. Uh, nonetheless, this is a hugely comfortable car, as are most of these French cars. Look at this, this is 16 years old and the two previous owners have looked after it very well. Look at the condition of the steering wheel. Don't see many of these like this because you got these shiny plastics that often chip. Obviously these were careful owners. Look, no chips on there. Usually you get steering wheels fragmented all over the place but it's in good nick. So, lovely. Very practical. It's not the longest of bases but it is compliant and as you can see this has got raised bolsters so it's very supportive and very comfortable on uh, long rides for you know, cars of this medium size so competitors being like the Focus, the Aven Auris, the Golf and the rear seat lovely and I like how it's curved in here in the middle to give the middle passenger a bit more space and the hump isn't too big so it's uh, comfortable enough obviously it's slightly raised but not too much but again this is one of the best for carrying three in the back there's plenty of uh, good leg room for under five foot uh, six footers and the headroom is very decent because of the nice high roof line there so even six footers could actually get in here with comfort um, although the leg room might be a bit tight for them but anyone under six foot I'll say five six five eight you're alright and get three of you in here and definitely get three children in in comfort no problem at all this car has some nice little weird touches like look cloth cover you think is an armrest but it's actually a storage place you can put your mobile phone in there and underneath here as well I thought this was for the battery but it's not it is more storage oops sorry about that press the uh, stop button anyway if we have a look around it's lovely and uh, on the bonnet releases on the passenger side and on this one what you've got to re remember is there's this little latch here so can you see that there you go so once you pop the bonnet you need to pull that latch I've seen so many people <laughs> struggle with that yeah one other good thing i like about this car is you know french cars are notorious for short changing uh, uk customers well at that time in 2005 renault were kind enough to move the fuse box so you get a huge my goodness some people's fridges are smaller than this it's a huge glove box look at that you get a safety kit and a torch you know the old previous owners looked after it when you got these still in there, the original packaging. So do look out for those little touches that show it's been well looked after. As you can see, this is quite soft, it's nice. But then round here, all cheap plastic, but look at that. It's aged well, 16 years, but a lot of examples, so this is quite a nice example so don't be fooled a lot of these they get abused and these get chipped quite easily and all these buttons here that you see if I can get the focus all these buttons that you see here they usually wear out but whoever's had it has looked after it very well now another oddity about this oh before I forget look there's more storage under floor here 
Another odd oddity about it is the seat adjustment. So look, no seat adjustment on the sides. It's actually, yeah, so you got that. If I can move the camera. You can't see it now because it's too dark, but there's two levers. There's a lever here to slide, and then there's another lever over there to uh, uh, tilt the back headrest. Sorry, I got it the wrong way around. This lever is to do the backrest, and the other one is to slide. But that's weird. Usually it's on the side, but in this instance it's not. So let's go for a quick look. So she drives super smooth. This is one of the most comfortable riding hatchbacks you'll find. Typical of French cars, goes over the humps really well. And this 1.6 is very peppy, especially the low range when you're going from 0 to 30, and uh, which is essential really, because that's the environment it's going to be in. And so, wonderful driving dynamics. Nice, the steering is light but not overly heavy, uh, sorry, not overly light. It's just on the right weighted, to be honest with you. I'm very impressed, very impressed indeed. And good visibility all round. The mirrors could do with being a bit bigger, but it's all right, can't complain. It's got big windows everywhere. Yes, nice. So yes, excellent driving dynamics, very comfortable. You can drive this uh, long distances without feeling uh, tired this is one of those that you need to go for it's not I've got any uh, sporting uh, pretensions but uh, if you want something uh, leisurely and uh, with a little bit of poke from 0 to 30 yeah this isn't bad at all not bad at all good stuff let me do a re uh, final I final review of this vehicle now. So, I've been taking this car for a drive as you can see it's a nice comfortable ride supremely comfortable actually class leading I would say only the Citroens compete with it in terms of comfort so if you are one of those that needed medium sized car for long journeys this is definitely one to consider on comfort alone in terms of this dynamics in terms of reliability well this isn't the most reliable in the world but there's plenty of these about so any parts will be easy to get and relatively cheap and they're easy to work with now the automatic gearboxes just be careful of those if the cars are not being abused and looked after like this one has they're usually okay but they're not known for being the most robust in the world and if you are looking for second hand examples just make sure they've got a comprehensive service history and look out for any telltale leaks in the engine bay otherwise there's just the usual french cars that have electrical niggles that you need to uh, Take consideration of but you know when I've, I've as I've said a hundred times before you know if you want reliability then you have to go for a Toyota or a Honda and then everyone else is lumped together as the best of the rest so this isn't any less reliable than a Golf or a Focus but obviously it won't be as reliable as an equivalent Toyota Auris or maybe a Honda Civic so do bear that in mind but in, they cannot compete with this car in terms of overall ride comfort because it is class leading so if comfort is your thing and you do regular long drives this is the car for you and they're relatively economical and uh, low insurance group and very cheap to buy these are dirt cheap so do look out for them try and avoid the super high milers try and get slightly lower miles definitely under 100,000 miles um, and but like I said make sure it's got comprehensive service history and otherwise, nice little bargain. Hope you like and subscribe and see you soon. Bye-bye.